Hey, welcome. Today we're going to talk about IoT in Azure. Specifically, we're going to take an IoT device, the MX chip, and we're going to hook it up to Azure using device templates that are part of IoT Central. IoT Central sets up a lot of essential services for you in Azure without you having to think about it. Think of it as all the plumbing needed to connect to your devices, two-way communication, reporting, analytics, all that's done for you. So let's check it out. Okay, so we're gonna look at Azure IoT Central. We're gonna show how you can quickly get up and running with some templates and connect to an IoT device. So let's get started here. This is the device we're gonna be using. It's uh, the code name is a specific model is AZ3166, otherwise known as the MX chip IoT dev kit. Really good price here. I'll put the links for this. So these are the steps. That's how you buy the kit. This is how you set up the uh, IoT central app. This is the link. I'll put these in the show notes. <clears throat> and then we'll walk through connecting that. So the first step is setting up the IoT central application. So you'll go to this link that I'll provide and click the first link within this documentation to go to the IoT central main website. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the left here and click the build. And we're going to just pick a custom app up here, top left, click this. And then you can go ahead and change names here if you want to, let's just call it Kirby's custom IOT app. And then uh, if you don't have a subscription, it's going to be easier just to hit this free one right here if you don't already have an Azure uh, subscription. And we're going to scroll down here and enter some pertinent information. So scroll down, enter your email and your telephone number. I just put notepad over here to cover this up so I didn't have to do this in uh, post-production in my editing software. Then just click the create button here and you're going to be off and running. So it really just takes a couple of seconds to create your application. This is your dashboard. The first thing that we're going to do here is go down to device templates. And you can create a, a, a custom template for your device. But what we're going to do is pick one uh, from uh, the, M the template gallery here. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see one that's specific for the MX chip IoT dev kit. Click that, say customize. There's really not much to do at that point uh, until you create it. And then we're gonna make some a couple setting changes. Now you'll be able to do a lot more if you do your own template, but this is one that just helps you get up and running really quickly. So this is what comes out of the box. Here's the different device information that's gonna be uh, sent from the IoT device. It talks, it also it's got some LEDs configured. Uh, it's got a little OLED screen on it. Um, and it's got some commands. These are capabilities that can be expanded on if you do your own custom template. Um, some more settings here, and then you can add what are called cloud properties. Let's just set a couple things up. And these are things that you can actually send to the device. So let's call it uh, customer name and uh, change the schema to a string. You can change this, uh, leave the semantic type as it is, as none. And then also, let's say update date, you know, the date this device was updated, things like that, that you might want to send to the device or keep track of. So we'll put date there and now just click save. So that doesn't take any long, in any amount of time at all. Now views, let's go down to views. These are views that you can set up um, for your device. Things um, that will display information or allow you to be able to control the device through uh, a built-in panel, built-in screen right here in IoT Central. So let's click editing device and cloud data. So you'll see uh, you're gonna create a form and this is a form that you can interact with later. Let's call this uh, the form name is going to be uh, manage uh, device and we're going to grab some uh, couple properties that we just created um, but let's also uh, add some other things to the form uh, these would be read only 
um, but let's say it's got a fan on it um, <clears throat> excuse me and then add voltage so we have a few things here things that we can send to the device customer name update date and then some information that's going to be uh, given to us from this device so just click save at this point and it's saving that now the last thing we need to do is publish this and then we can start using it we can actually connect our IOT device top right click publish just confirm that you want to publish that and then that um, uh, device template is published so now we want to go hook up a device so go on your left hand menu to devices here and you're going to see uh, that we have uh, an existing uh, template here click that MX chip IOT device and then you're going to want to hit new right here now um, we can change the name of this device let's just call it Kirby's uh, MX chip uh, dev kit now you could just simulate this if you were testing how this would work if you put this to on it's actually going to generate just some mock data for you but we're going to hook up a real device so we don't need to do that so just click create here okay we've set the groundwork for this we've already set up the device template uh, we've created a device now we're going to connect to it so click in this device here and you're going to actually connect it this is where the rubber meets the road so all this information here at the ID scope device ID and primary key you want to save that because we're going to use that in a minute so copy those this little icon here is useful we can copy this so I'm going to save those and then we'll use those in just a second okay so I've saved that information off to uh, my OneNote here so the first thing we're going to do with the device is download the latest firmware so in the documentation that you have in the links below you click on this uh, number one download the latest firmware that's going to download a file then all you do is drag this dot bin file to your IOT device that's hooked up through your USB so you've got the little USB power cable on the device connected to your laptop or, or computer you just uh, drag that in there and then that will update the firmware and once that's done, that's going to reboot the device for you. Okay, so the device is all updated, latest firmware. Now we need to set, uh, connect it to the Wi-Fi. So the way you do that is you're gonna press the B button over on the right of that little display. You're gonna hold that down at the same time as you press the RE button above it, about an inch. Let go of the reset button, and then you can let go of that B button. That's gonna create a little hotspot and it's going to give you the name of that hotspot on there to connect to. You'll connect to that from your computer and then you can get to the IoT device with this address. And so this is what that screen looks like. So you're going to obviously enter your SSID password and then the three things that we uh, saved in our notepad, which is the device ID, the ID scope and the primary key. You're going to add those here and then just click configure device all right so i'm going to grab my id scope put it right here i'm going to grab my device id put it here and then our primary key or that we got earlier we're going to put it right there and then i'm going to quickly enter my password and click configure device and once this configures it'll probably disk your computer is going to disconnect from the little hotspot that is set up and just reconnect to your normal Wi-Fi at that point okay so at this point the device is fully configured doesn't have to be hooked up to your computer anymore because it's connected to your Wi-Fi and then we're back in Azure IoT Central in this application. There's some pre-configured uh, screens here for you. We're already pulling in data like temperature in Celsius, humidity. Uh, it's already got charts going here, uh, tracking things for you. If you go to manage device here, are some of the, the custom fields we added. You could update those if you wanted. and then uh, if we want to start sending commands to test uh, uh, out the device click here on the commands 
And these are some capabilities that came as part of this device template. You can add more, but you can blink the LEDs, turn them on and off. Uh, you can have a countdown on the screen. You can send text to the screen. So this just shows you how you can communicate back with the screen. I'll show some examples to you at the end how that, how that works. But uh, yeah, that's how you can get up and running really quickly using IoT Central. Once again, the idea is it does all the plumbing for you. IoT Central is using other Azure products like Azure IoT Hub and um, Stream Analytics and all sorts of things in the background but you don't have to piece all that together. It's hooked up all that plumbing for you. So I hope this has been useful. Getting your feet wet with IoT and Azure using IoT Central and the MX chip. Thanks for watching.